Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap ape. So in today's video, I want to cover Umbrella Network, um, which uh, recently announced their sale on Polka Starter, and that's always super bullish. Uh, you know, the last few ones have really, really done insane. I actually need to update Option Room. This went up to 60x, and you could actually easily sell at 60x, and I think that is just insane. I mean, 200 or $300 into like 15000 easily. So that's uh, the reason I want to cover Umbrella. And the whitelisting is actually currently open. Uh, if you go to Polkasada, you can see here it's coming up in four days. What I like about it is that their total raise is quite a lot higher than the rest of the recent sales. As you can see, Dow Ventures is only 100 k Phoenix Flow is 200 Umbrella 250 k which is pro. So a lot of people have the chance to get in. If you have a look at the whitelist round two, so round one is over, but there's a lot more people that will be whitelisted in round two. So in order to do that, go to this link. I'll put it in the description. Uh, you have until the 6th of February at 3 p.m. UTC. Uh, you need to follow these steps, uh, you know, the usual steps. You need to fill in their form. If you have any trouble answering the questions in their form, feel free to pop into my Telegram group. I'll help you out with uh, what the answers are. As you can see, 250k raise at 5 cents, 100% unlocked. So... 50% larger than round one as well, uh, which is really good. So a lot of people will be able to get in and hopefully the allocation is, uh, you know, significant. So pro gains can be made. So let's uh, go to a brief overview of Umbrella Network. So another reason I'm really bullish is because it's a scalable community owned Oracle. So it's got the Oracle hype, as you know, uh, you know that's always hyped. Chainlink is Oracle, and that's all the hype you need. <laughs> the fact that you can, can compare it to that. Uh, there is actually a chart that shows the comparisons of this Oracle compared to others, which I'll go through shortly. But uh, anyway, so Umbrella provides access to data previously unavailable to blockchain devs. Scalable, secure, and community-owned. And on Polkadot, which is always bullish, you know, the Polkadot projects are performing these days. So, scalable... Umbrella's decentralized nodes are built using layer 2 Merkle trees, a solution for bundling thousands of data pairs into a single node. This technology reduces costs while increasing the scalability of the system. Security. Umbrella collects data feeds from multiple sources to calculate the most accurate price in the market. It also utilizes a delicated proof-of-stake consensus model to ensure the security of the data transfer process. And it's community-owned, so the data infrastructure supporting decentralized finance is too critical to be controlled by centralized party. Umbrella is a community-owned project where stakers, developers, validators, and the foundation together govern how the network is operated. So overall, I mean, it's really bullish. Um, I like the idea and the, obviously the fact that it's an Oracle. Here is the chart that uh, compares it to other Oracles like uh, Chainlink, Band, and API3. Obviously, you guys might think and probably are right that these things can be a bit biased. But anyways, if you look at the speed, Umbrella Network high speed, Chainlink low speed. So surely Umbrella will be higher market cap than Chainlink, right? <laughs> but uh, no, that's uh, I don't think that's possible, but that's bullish. Data comprehensive, whereas the others are limited. DAO decentralized, whereas others are centralized. I think that's the big thing it's got going for it. Costing economical aggregates thousands of data feeds into a single blockchain transaction, whereas Chainlink has complex on-chain computation and each data feed is written on-chain. And API3 is expensive as well. <laughs> gatekeeping, no validator gatekeeping, only band is the same. And security, high, I mean, they're all high except for API3. So if you compare them, you know, compare as well to all these other ones and and obviously, if you look at the Chainlink, Band, and API3 market caps, uh, it's much, much more. And Umbrella initial market cap is only $500,000. So, you know, if it gets anywhere near even half, I mean, that's probably 100x. So it's uh, it's got a lot of potential, a lot of hype. Uh, and I'm personally very bullish on it. Next up, let's have a look at the team. Obviously, public team, Sam, Kim, Darius, <laughs> Alex, and Brian. So um not really a huge team oh actually okay decently big team i didn't see that there's a lot of other fellas over here so it's quite a decent team public team as well here's their linkedin and twitter so uh, that's bullish always pro 
Next up, uh, you can actually see the demo they have on uh, their website. And I mean, that really shows that they have a product working. I obviously always like that. So that gets a uh, I approve. Then before we get to the tokenomics, I actually wanted to uh, show this partnership with Yop Finance. And we all know how Yop performed, very pro. So this is obviously very bullish. So as you can see here, Umbrella Network will provide Yop with crypto asset data like spot prices and uh, time-weighted average prices for all of the digital assets listed on Yop's aggregator platform. So next up, let's look at the most important part as usual, which is the tokenomics. And this is where I think uh, Umbrella Network is really promising in. So as you can see, the initial market cap will be around 500,000, which is extremely low. If you compare it to, uh, for example, Bridge Protocol, even Option Room, actually it's similar to Option Room and Option Room did 60x. So I think it has the potential for that too. So another reason I'm really bullish is because of this uh, long-term vesting schedules for the pre-sales. So 70% of the token supply will have four-year linear vesting, which is obviously insane. That is extremely long lock on your tokens. And obviously, if you do the uh, polka starter sale, everything is unlocked immediately. So if you get in that, I think there's very big chance of gains. Then if we look at the token distribution, foundation, that means early contributors get 15%, founding team 10%, development fund 10%, future sales 5%. Community, uh, public sales 1%, node fund 10%, partner fund 10%, rewards 33%, marketing, airdrops 5%, and AMM uh, 1%, which is the liquidity they're going to add, which is quite low, but you know, as long as it's around 200,000 or so, then everything will be fine. So overall, I really like Umbrella Network. I mean, the sale on Polka Start is enough to get a bit of trust, bro. I'm not going to go into any more detail on that. So... One more thing I forgot to look at was the Telegram, which has 31,000 members, which is insane. And as you know, Option Room also had the same amount and it did 60x. So I won't be surprised if Umbrella Network does 50x. So let's just put it there. Performance we'll see at a later stage. So now it's time for the Tinder reviews. As you guys can see, I was swiping in Sydney, Australia for Umbrella Network. I thought it was fitting for some reason. Uh, for the next video, let me know where I should swipe, leave it in the comments, and then I'll swipe in that country. So let's see. First up, Shirley, I said, uh, what piece of data does Umbrella provide? A, spot price, B, VIX, C, TWAP, or D, stablecoin? This was a question in the white uh, listing, so I thought I'd ask uh, just so it could help me get whitelisted. We'll send one F if you're right. I have absolutely no idea what that is. Is it even any of them? Is it D? What is an F? So I said, uh, D is wrong, but of course you choose the D. Now I won't get whitelisted. <laughs> GG. So that's not pro. Next up, do you have an umbrella? Why? Would you like to be under me? Depends doing what? Me being the umbrella, obviously. And I said, how would that work? Ask your year six science teacher because he taught me all about it. Now he is serving seven years. <laughs> that's a, quite a lot to unpack so i said that i can't tell if this is bullish or bearish for umbrella network then the last one umbrella network is pro or no i could totally google that and pretend i know what you're talking about but i'd rather risk failing the test xo so i said so is it pro or no and she said i'm sure pro and she said it twice pro pro so <laughs> that's two pros so that's super bullish so that's the Tinder reviews uh, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, leave a like, subscribe, and join my Telegram group. And I'll see you guys next time.